Osteoporosis is a condition where the bone mass or, or the bones thin. Sometimes it's related to underlying genetic problems, medications, age, a variety of factors. But it increases the susceptibility to have broken bones. We think that it's a systemic uh, disorder, so it affects all the bones to varying degrees. Uh, the spine bones and the hip bones are the most common ones uh, that are affected, uh, but it affects all the bones. Most people don't realize that our bone mass is largely inherited, depending on which site uh, in the body you're looking at, anywhere from 50 to 85 percent of your bone mass is what you inherited. So the rest is what happens in your life uh, and uh, that leads to, sometimes leads to bone thinning. Um, a portion of bone thinning comes with age. We know that, uh, for example, extremes of exercise uh, promote bone health, but uh, extremes of inactivity, such as space flight or paralysis, lead to fairly rapid bone loss. Uh, but even within the normal range of activity for most of us, uh, being active uh, helps promote good bone health. It also helps promote good bone mass and balance, all of which are important in limiting falls, and falls are a big risk factor for having broken bones. Usually osteoporosis doesn't have symptoms. A lot of uh, patients uh, or people confuse bone pain or joint pain with bone thinning or osteoporosis, but usually that's osteoarthritis, which is a separate but also uh, common with age uh, disorder. Osteoporosis can have other symptoms such as height loss, which isn't always recognized as being the result of changes in the spine bones or their vertebrae. Um, so there are some other signs, but by and large, it's like blood pressure or cholesterol. You don't really know uh, your numbers until we measure them or there's a complication like a broken bone. Osteoporosis is usually diagnosed based on a test called a bone density test, which is a type of uh, x-ray, not a sophisticated scan, but where the computer analyzes the density of the bones and compares the bone density uh, to other people your age, matched for your gender and your ethnic group, uh, and also compares you to young people in your same uh, gender and ethnic group. And osteoporosis definition is how far you are from the young adult average, even though we don't routinely measure young adults at their peak of bone mass. We generally recommend screening, just like we screen for breast cancer or prostate cancer or uh, cholesterol, we screen high-risk individuals for osteoporosis, and the highest risk group are um, older women. So that's where almost everyone agrees that a woman uh, by the age of 65 or older should have a screening bone density test. It's a little more controversial for men, uh, but there are a number of uh, professional groups and medical societies that recommend screening for men uh, when they reach age 70. So when you have a bone density test, uh, usually uh, you fall into one of three categories. You can fall into normal, you can fall into osteoporosis, uh, which generally requires prescription, considering prescription medication above and beyond the lifestyle things uh, that we already mentioned. The third group that is a little bit differ different is the group that fall into osteopenia. And that is something below normal, not quite as severe as osteoporosis. And in that group, some of the patients or individuals would benefit from medication and some don't. And that's where we look at other factors, whether you've already had a broken bone, what your family history is, what your other medications are, to help decide who in that intermediate group might benefit from prescription medications. I think that people uh, generally recognize that osteoporosis is more common in older people uh, and that fractures are the complication of it and that preventing broken bones prevents uh, disability, prevents being in the nursing home, uh, prevents a uh, decrease in quality of life that comes with age. So it may not be so much about prolonging life, but uh, quality of life.